Hello, ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Welcome to another episode here in Past Teachers Again. This is something new for me because I needed to show this. I did not know this was coming. This just went up onto YouTube about 40, 54 minutes ago, and I just, I, I've got it. I've got no words. Let's just watch. Yes, Square Enix, we know you're our friend, we know it's Final Fantasy XII, but I have no idea what you're doing with it! So, guys, if you didn't already know, Final Fantasy XII is a PS2 game, and it was gorgeous whenever it came out, and if you had taken the PS2 game and ran it through PS2 emulators, using uh, the upscaling that was available to it, the game itself actually scaled quite beautifully for HD resolutions. Uh, unintentionally so, I think it was more of the fact that they had the texture packs in there, or they built around the idea of doing it for a HD, but it came out in the PS2, so therefore it was in the generation beforehand. So, this obviously is gorgeous. It's not something that's new to me to see, but it's really surprising to see it advertised for the PS4. Return to Evalance. Uh, Evalas. Evalice? Eval. Evals. Oh, man. Redinian soldiers. <laughs> So, yeah, if you haven't played Final Fantasy XII, it's a bit different from some of the others that you played. Of course, it has its own moody hero, with, uh, Van, and, um, well, I can't remember what the girl's name is. Uh, yeah, she's the one that kind of hangs around with you know, as your childhood friend. You end up becoming a sky pirate in a bunch of flying ships in your airships that you'd see in a lot of other Final Fantasy. The, the combat, in it, as you can notice, is a bit more like Final Fantasy XIII, and a lot of people complain about XIII's combat whenever it came out, but it wasn't... The first time you kind of like lost that direct control, motion by motion, action by action. In Final Fantasy XII, they used kind of like a, a, a proxy system that you kind of like queued up a series of actions that you end up having more and more control over the game as you went along. It was it was impressive. It was kind of like um, it, it it was kind of like giving a series of commands and plans of attack if a person had less than seven percent but more than thirty percent mana, but less than twenty percent of their limit break built up. It kind of like give you a really really strong control. Oh man, coming 2017, pre-order now, I, I just rambled over the top of that show, we have to watch it again. <laughs> oh, good god, I'm really excited to see Final Fantasy XII getting a re-release, uh, admittedly I'd rather see Final Fantasy VIII get a re-release because they've already done Seven and they're going to be doing the remaster of Seven. but this is still cool as fuck, guys. Um, I, 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 I skipped over Final Fantasy X because um, I didn't like the voice acting in it as much, I didn't like the world, I didn't like the characters. So I skipped 10 and the HD remaster of 10 and 10 too. But there's no way I would skip this. So the way I was describing the combat system, uh, where you kind of have all the pre-ordered system, and you see that like dashed line that falls across to your opponent, was very very reminiscent of Final Fantasy XI more than anything else, which was the MMO that came out before uh, Realm Reborn. It, it, it's, it finally gave up the ghost, I think, sometime last year, where they finally shut down at least the PS2 servers, which were um, kind of impressive for it to be like a long-running PS2 MMO. Uh, majority of players, I'm sure, that were still photo about it were only on the uh, PC version. But this seemed to have run. This PS2 game seemed to run on a very modified version of the MMO's game system. Like, I mean, heavily focused for uh, rendering the bits that you only needed to see in a certain time. I played through the story to a fair degree. I think I got lost in a forest with uh, the bunny girl that's in this. Uh, yeah, by, by the way, there's a bunny girl in this. I, if you didn't know, you might have spotted her in the background of one of the shots. You'll see her doing her big limit break up here shortly. Not this meteor one. Hey, that's her name, Fran. So you'll see her doing hers very shortly, I think. This is it here, yep, Shatterheart. So you see people doing their limit breaks. Uh, this is like, the limit break system was a bit different than the, um, than the ones we're used to, and I, I, don't, I don't even really remember there being that strong of a summon system in it either. Jesus, I'd, I've got so many things I could talk about in Final Fantasy XII and I don't even know it that well. By naming it the Zodiac Gauge, I'm assuming they're doing it kind of like they did with the international release of Final Fantasy X, which was Final Fantasy X International, or but like the same with the, um, Kingdom Hearts games international. It's just to uh, make it so that we're not uh, we're not getting exactly the same game again. We're getting to something that's probably added on a little bit more touched up, and it's also instead of just doing the slap in the HD remaster on the side of it, because there's a plenty of people who obviously missed out in twelve. Twelve would have been pr at the tail end of the PS2's life life cycle. Really, uh, I'm pretty sure. 
it was I think it was in a time period whenever there was a lot less attention on the JRPGs because there had been a large gap from 10 to 12. I'm trying to think what other ones really was that, was 12 pretty much whenever there was Square started to go all Square Enixy and there was like other companies showing up that were doing the uh, games like uh, Lost Odyssey on the Xbox which by the way needs a remaster and re-release as well that was a damn good game um, and Last Remnant and then uh, Infinite Sa uh, was, was it Unlimited Saga or Infinite uh, whatever the hell the, uh, that other one was Infinite Undiscovery Inf Unlimited Undiscovery? Infinite und Undiscovery? Whatever it was, it was something that was massive in scope, but was never to be seen. Uh, <laughs> I think that's the scale and title of what it was. So, uh, guys, this is this was a quick react video. This is all I could do to quickly kind of throw something together, because this only came up 54 minutes ago. I'm sure we will get so much more news about it, but the pre-orders, of course, are already available <laughs> for the release of this in 2017. I'm hyped. Let's see it come out next year. All right, guys, I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.